Oh, goody. All right. What's going on, everybody? Zombies here again. And today we're back with another Marvel Snap video. So today we have potentially a preview for the new PCUI that is coming soon, it sounds like. So this was a screenshot. It's been circulating around a bit, but it seems like some devices, when they opened Marvel Snap on mobile, are getting this pop-up saying, coming soon to PC, get notified first, put in your email, yada, yada. Uh, but we can see what looks like a preview of the PC UI. Now, it's possible this is just a placeholder image or a mock-up they made a while ago purely for this. It's possible this is not what it's going to look like. But this is the first glimpse we have at what potentially could be the new PC UI that sounds like it's going to be joining the game soon. Blowing this up a bit to get a better look at it, uh, we can get an idea of uh, what it's looking like. And it's kind of simple. Um, they, they were really kind of boasting about how they put all this work into it, and I mean, it's taken a while. The game is going to be one year old in October, uh, and this PC client has been in the works for quite some time. We can actually see the little Loki avatar there, so maybe this will be out by next season, the Loki season, who knows. Uh, but definitely sounds like it's coming soon. As far as the overlay itself goes, if this is what we're getting, I think a lot of people are going to be a bit disappointed. I mean, it's obviously better than what we currently have uh, with the Steam client just being a glorified like emulator. Uh, and I think it looks fine. It doesn't look bad or anything. It's just not really that different um, than, you know, what we already had before. Ultimately, this isn't that big of a deal, in my opinion, uh, as long as the game like looks nicer, is more HD, like looks clean. That's really all that matters. So I don't think it's the hugest deal, but if it did, if this really is what it looks like, I don't fully understand why it took them a year to make this. Because this this feels like just a little bit of photoshopping work, to be honest. Uh, obviously, it's a little bit more complicated th than that when you're, you know, designing a game and whatnot. But the only real differences here are uh, the snap cube has been moved from the top to the bottom right. The only differences here are the snap cube has been moved to the lower right hand section and the energy cube has been moved to the opposite side on the left. Uh, we can see the player names and avatars are up in the corners, the retreat and the end turn button are in the bottom corners, and there's a little bit more of a background where you can see we're kind of on this rock floating in space with some big planet behind it. Yeah, so if this is what we're getting, I do think there are gonna be quite a few people who wish it was a bit more than this. Obviously we haven't seen, you know, what it looks like on any of the other parts of the game, and we don't know for sure if this is what it's actually going to look like when it comes out, but this is the first kind of preview image we've seen of what it could look like, so I wanted to cover that real quick. Uh, but yeah, I know for me personally, I'm probably going to stick to my own UI overlay, uh, just adapt it to this new updated version, uh, because I don't think you really gain too much by using it just as is. There's still a lot of dead space on the screen that can be better filled up if you're trying to stream or just do like YouTube content. So I'm probably going to be sticking to my overlay if I can, uh, cause I think it's just a better presentation. Uh, but yeah, I'm curious what people think about this. Uh, are you excited for this? Do you like how it looks? Do you not like how it looks? What are some things you would have liked to see that maybe aren't here? I'd love to hear about it in the comments below. That's going to wrap it up for this one. If you enjoyed it, remember to like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.